Chaparral by Anastasia. Chaparral is the Spanish word for a place of evergreen scrub oaks. It is a region of dense spiny bushes. Being the smallest biome, it grows between forest and grassland. Many fires occur because of the dry climate. There are different terrains of flat plains, rocky hills, and mountain slopes. Chaparrales are located in the coast of California, the coast of the Mediterranean Sea, in western and southern Australia, the Chilean coast, and in South America and South Africa. It is at 30 degrees to 50 degrees north and 30 degrees to 40 degrees south mid-latitude. For example, Los Angeles is a chaparral. The biome has hot and dry summers, mild and moist winters, but is not rainy. Temperatures range from minus 1 degrees to 40 degrees Celsius. It has 10 to 17 inches of rain per year, mostly in the winter. Many fires start because of the heat and dryness. This graph shows the climate. The green line shows the changing temperatures all year through. It starts cold and then becomes really hot, then back to cold. And the purple line shows the low precipitation. These are abiotic factors, meaning they are the non-living physical and chemical elements in the ecosystem. The chaparral biome contains various landscapes, such as fields, shores, dry areas with bushes, and small forests. Producers are plants or algae that make food on their own using the process of photosynthesis. Plants that live in the chaparral have adapted to survive by having a waxy layer on top of leaves that can store water, long roots to reach deep water reservoirs, fire-resistant barks, and hard leaves to survive the droughts. Examples are the blue oak tree and the sagebush. The biome mostly includes invertebrates, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and mammals. These animals have adapted to the long dry climate by having thin fur, being small so they don't store extra fat, nocturnal to keep cool, and large ears to provide an expansive surface area of exposed skin loaded with blood vessels. Animals also have the ability to go for a long time without water by losing very little water through urination. Other examples of consumers include chipmunks, coyotes, quoll, rattlesnakes, and rabbits. A food chain is a diagram that shows what an organism eats. Here, the praying mantis eats the grass, and the mantis is eaten by the alligator lizard, which is eaten by the jackrabbit, which is eaten by the coyote. The grass is a producer, the mantis is a consumer, the lizard is a secondary consumer, the rabbit is a tertiary consumer, and the coyote is a quaternary consumer. A food web in the chaparral can also look like this. A food web is a set of linked food chains. Everything in food chains and food webs are biotic, meaning they are living components in an ecosystem. Isn't the chaparral interesting? There was so much to learn about. If only the biome wasn't being destroyed by the wildfires. There is such a small area in the world for these species to thrive. Anyways, thank you for watching.